There's a scene in Superman 2 where Clark Kent is indisposed due to some tragedy. General Zod is sitting in the White House after having defeated the puny American armies. And he really just wants to destroy Superman, but he can't find the guy. He's completely bored. And this was the moment I realized that good is the logical choice over evil. It's the useful choice. Because you see, Superman is never bored. There is a limit to how much you can destroy, but there's no limit to how much you can build. Superman is the ideal of a god. He's equal to General Zod in every way, but Superman is satisfied with his life, and Zod is completely discontent. Because Superman fought his internal battles and won, he has no external forces that can compete with him. He should be as bored as General Zod, because Superman can't be better. There's no more work for the adult Clark Kent to do to become a better person, to become more powerful, to grow. He's already arrived. We know that when humans get close to this point, Life becomes meaningless, and they often commit suicide. It's really sad. But Superman's life is full of meaning, because there's another way. He represents that other way. He helps others. He has, in the best way, externalized his growth. He's not growing from within, he's growing outwards. His life is full of struggle, improvement, connection, growth, purpose, and meaning because he isn't complete until everyone else is a god just like him. And this is why being good is the logical choice over being evil. There is a concept in Eastern thought that talks about reaching enlightenment and then going off and selfishly enjoying it, versus reaching enlightenment, seeing how beautiful it is, and coming back to help others get there too. The first character is looked upon as basically useless and kind of a jerk. The second one is looked upon as the way to be. This is very in line with the mythology of Superman and General Zod. General Zod is all-powerful and lives for selfish revenge. Superman is all-powerful and lives to help others become as powerful as they can become. Superman's route is not only the moral choice, it's actually in the best interest of Superman to make it. Because life is miserable when you can't share it. Becoming a god is pointless without others at your side to witness it and without a challenge for you to take on next. And the challenge can't be destruction because destruction has an end. So it has to be helping others grow because the possibilities within that task are endless. Because if you reach the top and you don't reach back down to lend a helping hand, you just won't have anything to do.